All right, it is very late at night, but I don't have very much time to shoot these videos anymore. So I'm gonna do what I can to give you this quick unboxing of Deep Madness by Dimension Games. This game is a Kickstarter only game. Uh, you will not find this in stores. They said they will not print this and ship it to stores for retail. It's only on Kickstarter. So in order to get this game, you had to have gotten the Kickstarter, which I did. But you have a second chance. They're doing a second printing Kickstarter right now, along with some new expansions and things like that, which I'm kind of glad because I missed out on some of the expansions. I just did not have enough money to go in all at once. And um, uh, I went ahead and backed the second Kickstarter to get those missing items and a bunch of new items too. And then they also have a bunch of free downloads they're sending to the people who already backed it. Some uh, cool stuff to read and some rules and things like that that they added to the game. But enough of that. Let's get into Deep Madness. Now this is a um, Cthulhu HP Lovecraft inspired game. Um, it takes place in a deep sea research facility where you and a bunch of investigators stumble upon a bunch of crazy creatures that will eat you. Now I've um, I've watched a few videos of people reviewing this game and they said it's uh, pretty awesome and um, the, uh, the monsters are pretty brutal and relentless and it's very easy to lose this game, which is kind of cool um, to have a, you know, a harder game out there. Now, right, right off the bat, you get greeted with a ton of plastic. These are a bunch of the different things that come in the box. A bunch of different monsters. And then we have our survivors here. Bunch of survivors and monsters. Pretty good detail on all of these. Let's uh, open up a few of these, shall we? Tell you one thing though, ever since I started back in Kickstarter games, I am buried in plastic. So much stuff to paint. Now, the cool thing about Cthulhu esque monsters is they are very easy to paint because you're going for fleshy colors with lots of washes and dry brushing. So these should be pretty quick to paint up, which I hope so because there's a lot of them in here. Um, let's go to a couple of the other ones. I really like these kind of monsters, just like some legs and a bunch of flapping tentacles. Pretty creepy. I'm a big fan of H.P. Lovecraft, and it's nice getting a box of miniatures that are all Lovecraftian. Let's get these little wormy creatures here. These little critters. Oh, it's got a tongue and a face. So... So yeah, so if I get into some more like roleplay gaming or some more Cthulhu gaming, I'll have plenty of tentacled little monsters to play with. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, next we have a whole bunch of cardboard. These are all the uh, templates. Looks like we got about four of them in here. Let's uh, rip this open, Let's see what we got. Okay, that was hard to open, but I got it here. We got a bunch of uh, templates and dials. A lot of fun stuff here. We got some doorways, bulkheads, counters, guts. There's a lot of a lot of stuff in here to punch out. So you're gonna need a lot of little Ziploc baggies for all that stuff. Okay. Next, let's uh, look in here. Ooh, we got some bigger monsters, and we got some cards, and some uh, bases. Uh, these are black, round, marky bases. It'll be interesting to see what those do. Then we have, these must be the color-coded player bases. Some little, um, little grommets there, and some 
stands for our doors. Pretty typical stuff. Now we have some tile sections here. I'm gonna pause the video again as I rip off all this plastic. All right, back to it. I got a bunch of tile sections here. We have a bunch of big doors and a ton of corridors. I mean, doors, <laughs> rooms. There's some big rooms here. Really cool artwork. These are a matte finish kind of tiles. A lot of detail there. A little little planks. Definitely 28 millimeter scale in the design there. But plenty of creepy monstery bits. This actually kind of reminds me of um, Alien Covenant. That, that looks like the, the laboratory that David used in that movie. It's a little coffiny, bony, kind of culty looking stuff. It also gives you the, a feeling of the movie Thing from Another World. Little reactors. Oh, so we have like infested and not infested. Infested, not infested. So that's really cool. You can do the infested side or the normal side. So that's pretty neat. I'm sure that will play into the gameplay as the horrors take over this underwater station. That's so cool. A little cockpit there. And suddenly it's taken over by icky, gooey, tentacly things. Oh, this is awesome. All right, I'll try to speed up here a little bit. Probably pause the video if you want to take a closer look at some of these. There's infested, not infested. These are all numbered too, so they're all different. They must all have uh, different rules about them. It's incredible the amount of detail the artwork is on these. Usually don't see tiles with this much effort put into the art. It's almost it's almost too detailed, you know? Kinda stuck together from the printing. Pretty cool. Definitely sets the mood of the game, these tile sections. There we go. And whoop. Boom. This is that one. Okay, cool. And then the last one. Boom. So, got a ton of tiles here for the game board, all numbered. So, I'm sure that comes into the gameplay. Probably tells you when, when and where monsters are popping out. Um, I'm not going to go through all these cards right now, but you have a um, bunch of different cards to use for the game, like items and monsters, that sort of thing. And then we got our dice. These look like... I want to all open this one. I've noticed a lot of games right now that I see on Kickstarter, like Zombicide and... Uh, Vampire Hunters and others uh, tend to use these size cards for um, items, but it looks like this game has to do with doorways, but what is in the doorway? Oh, well, let's see. We have characters, monsters, oh, okay, so this is probably how we spawn our monsters. Oh yeah, that's kind of like Zombicide. Some of the side has these little tokens that spawn monsters. So there must be, there's two different coins. There's like whatever monster it is, and then there's like the rooms, the rooms they could be appearing in. At least I'm assuming that's how the game probably plays. Uh, the dice are really cool. You have this little monster attack dice. 
then you have these other custom dice. So we'll take a look at these really quick. If you like custom dice, these are pretty neat. You got claw marks, tentacles, bites, this eyeball. So pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, and then we'll get to the last box here. So we have a bunch of epic monsters. Alright, so the first one. We've got this squiggly thing. This will paint up really nice. Ooh, gross. And I got this critter. Yep, it's got heads on both sides. Watch out. Alright. And then we got this fleshy abomination. This reminds me of the thing from another world so very much. And I love it. So it's kind of a cross between HP HB Lovecraft and the thing. Which, the thing is very HP Lovecraft already. So we got three of these guys there. In our little monster bin. So there you go. So that's the core set. This is the um, basic box set for the game. And um, again, I've heard really good reviews on this game. Everybody that I've talked to is saying that um, you need to get all the expansions because this game is so cool. Um, here, I went ahead and opened up this one. So here's some of the characters. We get a good look at some of the artwork here. Arthur Wayland, Felicia Armitage, Jared Drake, Randy Carter, Roman Asimov, Samuel Smith. Now we got some of the monsters. Ravis, Agony. Hysteria, Husk, Delirium, Blind, Putrid, Ooh, Twisted, Rathophobia, Madness Within, Substance, Mind Eaters, Bathophobia, and some more Madness Within and Substance. So, I, I guess they're... They're kind of making up their own monsters here. Um, you know, just from those names. Those aren't from any Lovecraft stuff that I'm aware of. Um, it's kind of their own made-up thing. Uh, I do kind of like the uh, what they've done with the characters. They've, they've hearkened some of the names to um, some pop culture kind of references here. You know, like, obviously Samuel Smith is probably their Will Smith knockoff character. Uh, so it's kind of cool that they did that. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to open these packs yet, um, because I want to make this video a little bit shorter than my other ones, but, um, yeah, so you got your items and events, and yeah, so I guess that's the end of this unboxing video. Um, next I'm going to unbox some of these other expansions, so, uh, keep watching my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and, uh, I'll show you more.